Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, welcome to Hobby Talk. Uh, real quick, just going into this, we haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought later on in the video I'll show you. We've been working on the Mini Art uh, 35th scale London bus. Remember they had the two that was the military one and then the London bus. We've got that been working on. We'll show you that in a bit. Plus, also as promised, a couple weeks ago, we told you about the Arma Hobby 72nd scale aircraft. And I had a friend of mine build up a couple of these really well. And we'll show you all that as, as well. But the main reason you guys are probably here, as you probably saw in the thumbnail, uh, is the coronavirus and how it is affecting the, the model hobby industry. And I thought we'd just take a few minutes and talk about that right now. First, the, uh, the biggest thing is many of you may know or many of you may not have known, I had a big trip planned for May. Uh, I was going to be going to the Shizuoka model show, which is supposed to be the biggest model show in the world. It's in Shizuoka, Japan, and it's basically Tamiya's backyard because Tamiya's warehouse and factory there. And it was going to be, a, it's one of the big ones right there to go see. Going to take you guys along with me in videos. We were going to do that. We also got a special tour of the entire Tamiya headquarters planned, uh, Hasegawa, a bunch of other stuff planned to take you guys along with it. Until yesterday. Yesterday, I got a notification from Tamiya. They told me that they're canceling the model show. Uh, there's obviously some panic going on in the world with the coronavirus and they are not taking any chances. They, even though the show is a couple months out, they canceled the entire show. And because of that, uh, I probably thought it was, you know, between that, they're also closing down all of the schools in Japan, high school, middle school, elementary school. All the schools are getting closed down for the next month. Even Tokyo Disneyland, from what I understand, is getting closed down for a few weeks along with all the ones that were in China, but now they're really kind of getting a little worried in Japan. All that closing down, I've decided that since we're not going to be able to do the tours, we're not going to be able to do the show, we're just going to cancel the trip completely. Unfortunately for me, I had non-refundable tickets, but uh, I think safety concerns are uh, put ahead of anything else right now. So unfortunately, we won't be able to take you on that tour and show you all the cool things that we're going to be on. I guess maybe next year we should be able to do that, but... Um, that's kind of what we're talking about here. So with all that stuff that's happening with the coronavirus, now because of YouTube, I've made a lot of friends all over the world and have a little bit of insight of what's going on. And that's what I kind of wanted to talk to you about too. Is So it's big enough that they're closing down shows, but it's also the factories in China that we're uh, concerned about too because they've been actually closed down. First of all, Chinese New Year came around in the beginning, end of January, early February. Chinese New Year usually closes down the factories uh, and models and, and a lot of different products for a couple of weeks. And then there's that ramp up and slowly they get back. Well, that happened. And then right after that, the uh, coronavirus thing started happening. So there's been a kind of a delay in a lot of product that's coming out of China. There is, was some stuff trickling out. But as of right, as of the last two weeks, all those factories have been closed down completely and nothing is moving in there. They're moving some of the, the inventory that they already had, but nothing is being produced right now. And in fact, I was talking to a friend of mine, uh, March, middle of March was when they, they talked about getting ramped up, but things are progressing more to the negative side. So honestly, we really don't know. So there will be some shortages on some, uh, some Jap or excuse me, Chinese kits, you know, most of being made in China. So like TACOM and Ryefield model, companies like that. Uh, there should be a little bit of a slowdown on what's actually coming in. Because I know, like I said, the factories are not producing anything right now. So that covers the factories in China about the slowdown. South Korea, of course, is having you know problems with the, the coronavirus flaring up. And I haven't heard anything yet about Academy slowing down, but we'll keep you informed on that. And then, of course, uh, Tamiya being another major player. Uh, Tamiya is mostly in the Philippines where they produce their molds or you know their kits and some in Japan so we'll see what happens with that too hopefully we don't have a slowdown in any of their paints like we've had so many other times before <laughs> that's always a, a fun time not being able to get their paint I do have one other quick thing to mention too you guys have watched me uh, put this together and the we were overwhelmed multiple times now the the sales on our website at andyshq.com 
We do have a couple more boxes of these that were already produced and they're on their way to us soon. And as soon as we get the manifest, we're going to put them back onto the website. I know I'm getting calls constantly here at the store, but they are coming. And some more good news. Very soon, the next one that they're going to be coming out with is the King Tiger Shell. So an even bigger version of this will be coming out. We've uh, pre-ordered a literally a boatload of them knowing how well that the tiger sold the king tiger is going to sell probably even better on that so those maybe april if if we're lucky if everything goes the way it is but no promises but it is coming eventually on it there so and like i said if you want to still get a hold of the king tiger just keep an eye on the website as soon as we get the uh the okay that it's actually been shipped we will have them back on there and then you can order some of those up on it there so uh, so that's it in a nutshell. That's with you know the breakdown and what's happening with the coronavirus and how it's affecting the hobby. Uh, so many manufacturers being in China. Uh, we'll just have to uh, wait and see approach type thing. So, so let's take a look at the kits that I've been working on and the two that got built up. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, we're still in kind of the early stages of building up the truck here, and we're starting to glue some of the photo etch on, pieces like that. And I've done a little bit of the early painting, too, to make sure that we're not going to have a problem painting it later. Uh, but this gives you kind of a, a general idea how the vehicle is going to look. Uh, I did have to go back in and change out some of the railings in here with some metal wire that goes around the entire piece here. It had just a, a tough time getting the, uh, the the sprue to cut off with all the connection points without messing it up. But I think the uh, the wires looks actually a little bit better on it there. And other than that, uh, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of parts, but very, very, very detailed. And so far the fit has been good too. So if you're looking for a kit that has really high, high detail, and you know you one likes a lot of parts this would definitely be a great kit for you here so this will give you an idea how it's going to look and we have to put all the seats inside and then all the bench seats up on top of here but like i said because of the type of build this is we have to build it up in sub assemblies okay we're going to take a, a closer look now at the arma hobbies 70 second scale aircraft and the very first one we're going to take a look at is the hurricane mark one and that is this kit right here that a friend of mine named Terry built up. He uh, builds a lots of 72nd scale stuff. And I knew that my sausage fingers weren't going to work on this, so I thought I'd turn it over to him to let you see on this. And he really raved a lot about the fit on this. In fact, he was talking about the fit even on this little joint right here. There is no putty or anything. It literally clicked into shape. So here and here... Perfect fit along the wing route, no putty inside there, just really great, highly detailed 72nd scale models. And he just couldn't rave enough about them. And his, his biggest comment was, I hope they start doing 48th because of the quality that they do on these, I think would really work well as a 48th scale. Now, the uh, the Hurricane Mark I, as you see right here, is done up in, I believe these are Romanian markings, but they come in multiple different kits that have multiple different markings on it, so you can do all different types of, uh, of uh, type of Mark I Hurricanes. They also do have a Mark II Hurricane coming out, and this is the other plane they built up, and this is the Yak-1B in uh, Russian markings, as you can see here. Same thing he was talking about, that the uh, the quality was extremely well, well molded on here. Decals were excellent too. That, uh, that shark mouth right there normally can be a pain, especially in 72nd scale, but said it whoops, said it went together really well, stuck really well, and had no problems at all on it there. Now, this, this canopy is one piece right here, and you just put it on with some, some tack, so that's why that little gap right there can be slid over, but I'll mess with that later on. But to just give you guys a basic idea that if you're looking for some 72nd scale uh, airplane kits, there's a new guy in the block. They have mass inside these and photo etch, so some really nicely detailed uh, pieces. And speaking of mass, something that he wanted me to point out to you guys that he thought was really interesting. Inside the kit, they come with, like I said, the photo etch and the mass, the decals. But they give you this one-to-one -one scale diagram of 
the canopies. So if you want to, or if you mess up one of the masks, you can lay your masking tape over these and cut out new masks for it. And they fit perfectly. He said they were dead on the way they worked. And you can see he actually went ahead and tried it this way, cutting out his own mask to do that. So uh, a simplified kit too. Uh, one sprue was basically the entire amount inside there, but, but very nicely detailed. And uh, now I'll point out to you too, in the United States, these have a retail of about, for the expert kit, the one that comes with the photo etch and all the other parts, for about 24 bucks, I think is what the amount is on those. So I'll give you an idea. And that's what the retail is on those. Well, there you go, guys. There's uh, the video. We're going to keep it kind of short and sweet on this. We just wanted to talk a little bit about what's happening with the model industry and show you what I'm working on. I am still got a few other projects we're working on as well that will gradually start to get out. There won't be a heck of a lot of reviews coming out for the near future just because there's not a lot of new stuff rolling in for, for a bit now. But I know all that will probably change pretty soon. Also, <laughs> remember to use your sanitizer. We want to try to keep you guys as safe as possible. I know I'm going to keep a big bottle of this right on my register uh, and make sure we don't catch anything. So, hey, I want to thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many videos coming. Thank you.